All right, guys, I found out what's wrong. So back to our game. Uh, if I'm hitting play, it's not working. And we have several things to make sure it's it will work. So since I since I, ch I search for the bug on a, a copy of that project, I might have a different setup than you. So we're going to check all the different steps I checked to resolve the bug. So first thing I did was to, uh, I built myself a function that you might not have because I might have done that off screen. That's a function to debug the direction, the direction of a tile. So we don't need this. I mean, we do not, we do not need to, to get interested in this. So, uh, we have to make sure our local variables are, have the proper values initialized in our function. So first things first, set connection en enabled. We should have all four di direction without any Booleans co checked. Uh, if I'm, if I'm going at find random next location, valid location should be empty. Location to seek new should be like this. Randomized results, we do not care. Uh, get tile location, get tile class, valid tile should be empty. And here in the valid tiles, we should make sure that in the end, we are returning a random tile chosen among the valid tiles array and not the tile list array. L earlier on, I was getting the tile list here and we don't know, we don't want that the tile list is the is all our this is the board containing all the tiles and this is the board containing only the valid tiles we can put on the spot we want so yep that's what we want as base variables in the generate generate tile layouts we want empty connections to be filled with all four cardinal points without any check button checkbox checked the previous location should be empty like this so we are fine with this and i realized one of the problem we have uh, one of the problem we have is this function this function is a pure function so it's actually executed twice in here it's ex executed once to retrieve the found location. Then it, it's executed a second times to it's executed a second times to retrieve coming from cardinal, and therefore it's giving me two different. It's not giving me the proper values here. So if I'm just unchecking the pure function and plugging it in the execution pass, we are going to have such a different result. So if I'm hitting play, we have all our tiles, but they look rotated uh, in a, the wrong way. That's because I just failed at, uh, when I get the tile class here, I'm reverting the cardinal. And actually, I don't need to revert the cardinal here. We are, we are looking for an exactly matching tile. So if I'm hitting play, we can see now tiles are properly working so i hope i hope you guys didn't miss anything i hope i didn't uh, i didn't miss any information anything i did uh, because i did something off screen for like 20 minutes i i basically printed stuff and see what was wrong in the in the process and i realized i added a print to that function and i realized it was triggering twice for each tile so it's it, and it shouldn't tr trigger twice it should only trigger once for each tile so i knew that was the problem the pure function was the problem and checking the pure function made it so it only trigger once and fit the information and that's what we wanted and the problem was that for each tile he was losing the connection information since he since he was triggering that twice. He didn't know where fr from what co cardinal it came from anymore. So that's wrapping up the video about the destination about the direction. I hope you guys enjoyed it, uh, despite all the bugs and and the long uh, debugging process. Uh, and I hope you guys learned something. Uh, hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.